I'm absolutely loving this Countess deck at the moment inside of Clash Mini. And the deck is the Countess, the Ice Wizard, the Mega Knight, the Miner, the Fisherman, and the Bowler. And dare I see it, I think the Countess is now my favourite hero. She's so fun to play with. But nonetheless, we've got a couple of replays so you can see this deck in action. So the first replay is against the Barbarian King player. Coming in against the Barbarian King, I like the fetch on the Mega Knight or the Ice Wizard, or the Miner. The Mega Knight in a two cost, one or the other. So we've got the Mega Knight, the Countess, and the Ice Wizard currently on the board. He has got the Ewiz deck alongside his Barbarian King. And don't forget, guys, it is the weekly Gizmo rotation, and we've got the Pancake of the Sauna and the Training Camp available. And this deck works really well with the Pancake of Gizmo with the Countess. Super OP, because often she goes to the back of the board, especially because you've got the Miner inside his deck. Miner pushes to the back of the board, deals damage, damage to the backline minis of your opponent, so the Countess teleports to the back and then the Pancake starts targeting the Countess and she gets that attack buff and it's just nice synergies going on inside this deck with the Pancake and Gizmo. So fun to play as well. So we're coming into round two. I'm going to look for the upgrades to my Mega Knight and the Ice Wizard. Get the extra slows on the Ice Wizard. We get the larger surface area going on the Mega Knight and I can fetch on my Gizmo. That was the plan coming in here. I've only seen two of his minis so I don't really know what sort of deck he's got. I guess it's more or less a two-cost deck with the E-Wizard. That was a popular deck before the start of this season. So he has got the E-Wizard. Started up. He has started up that Barbarian as well. My slam goes off my Mega Knight. Pancake are there. You can see, guys, targeting my Countess. Doing nice work. Get her back up to full health. Gets the nice attack buff going on the Countess. And he's... He, he was being a bit of a pain getting the stuns down. But look at this Ice Wizard of mine targeting that Barbarian that's come out of the sauna. Slowing his attack speed right down. And my... Pancake Gizmo doing work with my Count S and we come in and we do take round number two. Nice little combo there, the Pancake and the Count S. So I know he's got the Sauna Gizmo. Quite a tough Gizmo to play against at times. So my idea here was to try and destroy the Sauna Gizmo before he can get a mini in and out of it. That was my plan. That was my thought process. I had a couple of rounds to execute this plan, but I fetched on the bowler. Try to target that wizard at the back and shut him down for a little bit. Just to give my uh, Count S a bit of time to try and get back to the back of the board. Maybe take out the E-Wizard. But unfortunately, he does lose his Barbarian pretty quick. And that does jump into the sauna. It's a two-star Barbarian. And look at this two-star Barbarian. Absolutely going off on this battle board. I was a bit unfortunate there with the Barbarian's path. And my Count S teleported. So the Barbarian targeted my Count S. Then went to my Ice Wizard. And then went to my Gizmo. Left my bowler and Mega Knight till the end. That's not ideally what we want. So I know I've got to try and deal with this sauna. So I'll fetch on the miner. Try and push the miner to the back of the board. Start doing a bit of DPS to the sauna. Hopefully my Countess can teleport over there. And finish the sauna off. Before he gets a mini inside the sauna. And I go for the... I think it was the cleave upgrade. On the miner. Just in case he's put his mini in front. Of the sauna, so if I got the cleave upgrade going on the miner, he can hit the sauna and his mini. And I go with this setup. This is the setup I'm going for for round number four. I know I need to start damaging this sauna. He's fetched on the three star Ewis, but my bowler gets a little stun on his Ewis at the start. And we've got that pancake of Gizmo now targeting the miner. He's going to get that little attack buff hitting the sauna. Do an extra DPS to that sauna so my Countess can teleport over there. Take his sauna out before his minis have a chance to spawn out of it. And this looks like it's going to be easy round number four. I may mean, haven't even lost a mini yet. In round number four, Barbarian King goes down. All my minis intact. I'm my hero. And we're going into round number five. It was quite a good game this, to be honest, my friends. So my thought process was, right, I need to get a, the stun, up, stun upgrade going on my bowler. Thought being, my ball at the start of the round, he's already got that game full energy at the start of the round. My bowler can roll his ball, hit his E-Wizard, stun the E-Wizard for a couple of seconds, give my mine a chance to deal damage to the sauna, and hopefully my Countess would teleport over the sauna and finish the sauna off. That was the, the, the thought process and the plan I had. Will I execute this plan? We will see. Bowler comes in, rolls his bowler ball, stuns that E-Wizard, my miner's doing a bit of damage to the sauna, Countess and Miner together, Take out my opponent's sauna. Not going to be a problem for round number five. He doesn't know what's going on. My minis are doing work. I'm my Countess. I'm a Pancake and Gizmo. Keep my miner alive at the back of the board. Come in clutch. Take round number five. GG's. Well played. So game number two is against another Countess player. And against the Countess, I like coming on with the Mega Knight and the Ice Wizard. They're my minis of choice for round number one. 
He is fetched on the one star Skelly Guard. Not a bad move. I see what he was trying to do there. Knock the Skelly Guard out and the Countess got the shield. That's not what happened. He didn't quite go to plan. Looks like I'm going to take round one easy. I have got a much more full health Countess going on. We do come in clutch. Take round number one. Pretty easy there. Countess versus Countess can be a tricky matchup. Especially depending on what your opponent's deck is. Not a matchup I like taking if I'm being honest. But again, we're going to go try and get the upgrades going on my minis. So we can get that Pancake and Gizmo down as soon as possible. But you can use the, the training camp as well, if you like, for the Count S. You just put it down, put your Count S beside the training camp. Get the bus going off that. And you can use the Sauna as well. It is, like, the, the Gizmos in this, in this sort of... For this sort of deck work pretty well, I feel. But the Pancake is what I like going for. My opponent has gone for the training camp. We've got the two-star Ice Wizard targeting his Count S right off the board. And we get the stuns going off the Mega Knight. Oh, it's such a pesky duo to play against. The Mega Knight and the Ice Wizard. It slows and stuns. And then we've got my Pancake doing work. Getting life back into my Count S. Giving it an attack buff. We come in, take round number two. Super easy as well. So we're going into round number three. Going to go for the upgrade to my Mega Knight. That's what we want. We want the stuns going off on the Mega Knight. We've got the Dark Armor going, so he gets his super even quicker. And we're going to go for the upgrade to the Miner. Or we sell the, or we sell the Miner. Yeah, we sell the Miner and fetch on the ball. There was no real reason to use the Miner. He did fetch on the Mega Knight and the Skelly Guard. And he's got the Countess. I wasn't getting much value off my Miner, so I opt to sell my Miner. Fetch on the Bowler. And he's fetched on a Witch. Maybe not the smartest player to do against a Countess player because the Countess does rack up kills when she knocks out the Witch's Skeletons. And that's something you don't want because once that um, Countess gets them, kills racked up, her attack speed's insane. My Mega Knight doing work. It gets a slam off. His Countess is gone. Pancake again doing work for me. Tell you guys, the Pancake Gizmo with the Countess don't sleep on it. Come in, take round number three. Easiest three, you know, ever inside a Clash Mini. GG's, well played. That's just a quick video on this Count S. I like playing at the moment inside the Clash Mini. It's pretty effective. Works well with the current set of gizmos. If you did like this video, consider dropping me a like down below. If you want to see more Clash Mini content like this, feel free to subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next video.